Dad, I've been meaning to ask you something. What is it, son? A few years ago, you mentioned that Grandpa fought the war for us. What war was that? The War of 1953. Your grandpa doesn't like to talk about it, so why don't you go out and play? No, no, it's about time the boy learned. You see, before 1953, much of the world was still blissfully unaware of the existence of kaiju, or at the very least, unaware of just how many of us there were. Then came a monster named Retosaurus. And when I say monster, I mean that he was a complete monster. He's the one who first discovered an Obtanium, you know, on Tadeel Island off the coast of South Africa. He learned of its energy-absorbing properties and began a cruel campaign where he drained his fellow monsters of their life force. Like what cats did to Radiant X7, right, Dad? Uh, do you want to feel this one, Dad? Let me put it this way. At least cats had the decency to keep Radiant X7 alive. Retosaurus's victims weren't so lucky. He wiped out Deemer's Tarantula, the Gornaxis, and even the Gill Man. But why? He knew that if humans ever became universally aware of our existence, that they would strike first. He took many, many lives in an attempt to gain enough power to oppose them. In the end, his power level reached a staggering 100 billion. How did you stop him? Today, there are a few monsters who would have been more than strong enough to take on Redosaurus, your mom included. But back then, even the most powerful kaiju we knew of only had a power level in the low billions. The strongest among us decided to form a resistance. Then it happened. In the heat of battle, he stomped on my tail, and it temporarily unlocked my hidden potential. I involuntarily unleashed a 750 billion yada jewel atomic heat ray that knocked him unconscious. We transported Retosaurus to the mines of Tidial Island, where his energy quickly diminished to a mere 8 million in the presence presence of the unobtainium. We built an energy barrier and sealed him away, but the world was never the same after that. The war was so violent that our activities didn't go unnoticed. Humans came to understand the scope of our presence, and decades of conflict followed. Is Redosaurus still down there? I mean on Tadeel Island? Around March 24th, 2009, Mongra invited me to a timeshare sales pitch that he had put together on the surface of the island. But in the ensuing chaos, I stumbled upon the labyrinth of subterranean mines. There was no sign of Redosaurus. But isn't everybody concerned then? According to our records, there's no unobtainium missing. Only the amount we've been using for our industrial needs. So if he did escape, we don't think that he'll get into that much trouble. Hey bro, can you watch Surebi tonight? Flubby sent out an invitation for us to visit Andromeda. I guess she wants to show off some of her new public works projects. That's so strange. My wife was invited too, but not me. I am Celebi's favorite uncle after all. Do you know who else is on the guest list? Not really. I... Huh. That's weird. Only I'm listed on the invitation. Oh, well, I guess my husband can watch Celebi tonight. Huh. I wonder why she didn't invite him. I hope you appreciate the fact that it was extremely difficult for me to sneak away from Mistress Celebi. You got it. I'm afraid all of the unobtainium that I stole last year was confiscated by the police following my defeat. Sad, isn't it? So then, have you come here to die? <gasps> I assure you, there is still a way. I've sent an invitation in Celebi's name to Jimmy Kamakaris, Armor Mothra, Ms. Takoyaki Cthulhu, Biolante, and Radian X7 to visit the Andromeda Galaxy. Everyone with a power level of one trillion or more should be off-planet. Though the Tadeel mines are too well guarded, there is another way we can exploit a vast well of power. Nova. It's a wish-granting machine, located under a top on Fantasy Archipelago. It will grant you one request. Ask for its power. Hmm. It's been too long, cats. I've forgotten just how useful you are. 
Stay here, I'm gonna pay this Nova visit. <coughs> Ready, I will grant you one wish. Well, one wish is all I need. I want your power. Okay, three, two, one, blast off. Shutting down. Now this is a power level. 500 billion if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> the humans would have no defense against me now. I could will any city on this pathetic planet into oblivion in the blink of an eye, but I'm getting ahead of myself. First revenge, then omnicide. <laughs> I'll be done by the time those trillioners return. Now Gojira, where are you? There you are. You feel different. I wonder why. <coughs> What? <laughs> You're a robot. Well, ain't that entertaining. How did you get so powerful? All of the unobtainium has been accounted for. Wait a second. I can read your mind. Oh, Nova's power truly has allowed me to reach a new plateau. You have a grandson. Wait, no! You're quite fond of him, aren't you? <laughs> well, anything I'd do to you would only hurt you. But your grandson, if anything happened to him, <laughs> it would destroy you. No! Wait! Who are you, mister? A beast. Can you fathom that, boy? Why are you here? Stay away from him, little Godzilla! Absolute zero cannon fire! Grandpa! Oh, I made sure he's still intact enough to see what I'm about to do to you. Young man, nothing personal, but I'm afraid this is it. Not if I have anything to say about it. Dad! Let's face it, none of you are strong enough to stop me. <laughs> hmm. Well, who is this lovely creature? Oh, hello there. I see you're planning to kill my one and only child. What do you have to say for yourself? Only that I'll enjoy knowing that the three kaiju who love him the very most will have witnessed his bitter end. Oh dear, I'm afraid I can't allow that. <laughs> Please. I would destroy you so fast that you would be Oh dear, I guess I don't know my own strength. By the way, that was my inverted doom attack. Maybe I'll teach it to you someday, little Godzilla. Ooh, am I glad to see you. I thought you were off planet. I knew something was very wrong when Celebi didn't even invite her own dad to Andromeda. I figured that one of her lackeys might have gone rogue, and it seemed to me as though Katz was the most likely candidate. I stayed behind and coaxed the truth out of him. Fortunately, I got here just in time. That was Redosaurus, by the way, dear. He stole Nova's power. Will Nova be okay? Don't worry, dear. The inverted doom attack allowed me to absorb the life force that Redosaurus took from Nova. I'll have him reactivated in no time. Well, what about cats? Meow. Oh, he's been detained, dear. And what about that? Celebi's a wizard of robotics, and she'll be back in a couple days. In the meantime, just sit tight. Will do. 